So in this video, we're going to give you what are called the reduction formulas. And the reduction formulas are they're used in calculus. And again, this is kind of a situation where most people taking this class aren't planning to take calculus. So it's a bit, you know, hard to motivate them properly. But they do have some very important applications. And these are called the reduction formulas because they're ways of reducing power. Let me write down. These are called the reduction formulas. And there are three of them, one for the sine, the cosine, and the tangent. The sine squared of theta is 1 minus the cosine of 2 theta divided by 2. Again, this is all a little hard to motivate. I mean, what it comes down to is that in calculus, messing around with powers is hard, but messing around with subtraction is easy. So when we're doing calculus problems, we replace powers that are hard to work with, with subtraction and addition, that's easy to work with. That's sort of the, the five or 10 second explanation for why anyone would care about these things. And there is one for the cosine. The reduction form to the for the cosine is very similar to the reduction form to the for the sine. Um, notice that the cosine appears here, and the cosine also appears here. The only difference between them is that this subtraction becomes addition on this frame. And then we have a reduction form to the, for the tangent which you've probably noticed that the tangent identities tend to be more complicated than the sine and the cosine identities. That's true here as well. And those are re the reduction in um, power identities, or they're just called the reduction identities. And what they let us do is even if we have a power other than two, as long as it's an odd power, sorry, an even power, we can use these identities to simplify it. So let's look, for example, at how this reduction form to the works if we've got the cosine to the fourth of theta. Well, what you do here 
is you observe that the cosine to the fourth is the cosine squared squared and then you hit this cosine squared with the reduction formula. So we've got one plus the cosine of two x divided by two squared. And then we can foil this out and get one fourth times one plus twice the cosine of two x. And then sadly, when we foil this, we're going to get this cosine times a cosine. We're going to get a cosine squared of 2x. And the reason I use the word sadly here is that when we're using the reduction formula, though, we're trying to get rid of powers. And we haven't totally gotten rid of the powers. We have this square here. But these formulas work if instead of having theta, we have something like two theta, well, it's one plus the cosine of two times. Now, instead of theta, we have two theta divided by two. So now we can go back here and where this cosine squared of 2x appears, we can use this formula. I mean, instead of theta, we're calling our variable x. And we wind up with 1 fourth one plus two times the cosine of two x plus the cosine squared of two x, which equals this one plus the cosine of four x. all divided by two. And if we were so inclined, we could then distribute this multiplication out. And we wind up with one fourth plus one half the cosine of 2x plus 1 plus the cosine of 4x over 8. And then we've now, we've sort of finished with the identity phase of this problem. If we wanted to, we could go a little further. We could write this as 1 over 8 plus the cosine of 4x over 8. And we'd wind up with 3 eighths plus 1 half the cosine of 2x 
plus one eighth the cosine of four x. Um, this three eighths. If it's not clear, that three eighths comes from taking this one fourth and that one eighth and adding them together. And again, we're in this kind, we're in this situation, which is a little unfortunate, where you just sort of have to take my word for things. But if we're doing calculus, I uh, I see my variable theta turned into an x. Sorry about that. But as I was saying, if we're trying to do calc to this, this cosine to the fourth power is going to be difficult, really impossible to work with. But this sum is going to be easy to work with. So it might seem like we've made this thing more complicated. You know, we went from, from this, which you know, is it's the cosine of x to the fourth power. And we've replaced it with something that looks probably a lot more complicated. Actually, though, what we've replaced it with is easier to work with in a lot of settings.